Welcome everybody, this is Dr. G from All Is Love Media and we are on another episode of Do You, Boo Boo, Do You. Today we're gonna to be talking about 1985, I arrived. Check this out. So I've always been into working out since I was a little kid, you know what I'm saying? You don't get to look like The Rock, like me, unless you work out. So I've always been to that, you know what I'm saying? So what had happened was, I ended up through the years, high school, so forth, I ended up joining the Marine Corps. It's in the infantry, and we used to work out every day. I'm talking about every day. We used to run six miles a day, run, lift weights, all those different things. We did PT every morning. So finally, whenever I'm gonna get out of the Marine Corps, being in the infantry, I was used to it. I had been used to it since I was a kid, running, working out, and so forth. Again, you do not to get look, you do not to get, you do not get to look like the rock without working out, you know what I'm saying? So in saying that, what had happened is I get out of the Marine Corps. Now, check it. I wanna keep working out, but I wanna challenge myself. See, cause I was, when I was in the Marines, I had a good friend of mine, he was a sergeant, he was always telling me like, man, you need to, you need to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you need to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And so I started a little bit in the Marine Corps, so when I got out, I wanted to continue. Now check this out. I was still running at least six miles a day, six days a week, lifting weights. My workout was like two, three hours easily. I would wake up at three in the morning just to work out. You see what I'm saying? Like, and it would be like three hours of working out before I went to work. So I finally find this school. Now you gotta understand, you know, I'm, I'm, I was all jacked like I am now. And uh, so I go in there and I'm just like, yo, I'm finna rip everybody's head off in the most Christian way. So what happens is it gets time for sparring. If you know how jujitsu is, they show the move and it's time for sparring. Now, the instructor looks at me and he's like, hey, look, man, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. However, you're kind of in shape and so forth. Of course I am, bro. And he's like, yo, you wanna train, you wanna, you know, spar and so forth. I'm like, bro, I'm finna kill whoever's in this gym. And he's like, okay, cool. So I'm thinking he's gonna pair me up with like a big swole dude like me. No, no. He uh, he paired me up with this dude. Uh, he, he, he was kind of big and so forth, but more like as in potato big, you know what I'm saying? Just, just being honest, he was a big dude, you know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of like, all right, man, you know, I'm finna, I'm finna go in, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna do all the stuff that I learned did how to do. So as soon as he shakes hands with me, I do what I have been trained to do. It's kind of like a schoolyard fight, all right? Don't judge me, that's how you, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what was going on. So what ends up happening is he's grabbing me and he's just, and I'm like going all crazy and so forth, just like wilding out. And my man used to just grab me, very calm, very cool, very collective. Even though he was a lot bigger, rounder than me, my man would grab me, pull me down, and I ain't gonna say he beat me up, but uh, he made me tap a few times, you know, I was about five, I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'm like, oh man, I leave that day, I'm just like, yo, I'm sold. That was like 16, 17 years ago. I've been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu ever since, and don't get me wrong. Like I remember through the years, like learning how to continue to work out, cause I still, you know, like I said, stay swole and so forth. But I've learned through the years, and you learn this in Jiu Jitsu, that every movement has a consequence. And it's good to move forward, it's, a, it's, it's dope to move forward, it's dope to like have the right cardio, to, to train, to be in the right mindset, but you gotta understand, and I remember how one black belt told me, he said, every movement, whenever you're a black belt, cause I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I remember him telling me, he used to say, every movement, whenever you're a black belt, black belt counts. Everything you're doing beforehand, it counts for what you're gonna do now. And there's no such thing as something that's not calculated. Even to the untrained eye, it may look like it's uncalculated, but as a black belt, we understand that it is calculated. And I remember my black belt told me that years ago, years ago, and I agree. Through the years I've learned that in jujitsu is that every move does count. And sometimes, sometimes, we may have a lot of energy and so forth, but you gotta understand, this is a long match. And you gotta preserve that energy for the end and know when to use that energy. So in other words, you need to think about what it is that you're doing. That's sort of what's happening in 1985 with J. Cole's album, K.O.D. It's the last track and everybody's saying it's a diss track. I don't think it's a diss track. In fact, he even says that one little part, he says, come a little man, let me, won't you sit down? And he sits him down and he starts talking to him, kind of like an older brother. And he's trying to give him some, you know, the newer rappers and so forth, the person that he's talking to, which is the newer rappers. A lot of people say it's Little Pump, whatever. I like how J. Cole said, he said, if the shoe fits the Little Pump, then wear it. 
He's talking about all these different people who are moving around, who are, who are spending money, fame, all these different things, and they're not thinking about the future. And I can pull two good points out of the track that, he, that he's talking to this newer generation. Because I understand what he's saying, because he's an older dude and he's talking kind of like your boy. And he says this, he says, don't forget the art. You see, you doing everything now that's mad dope and it's cool and, and, everybody, and it's popping right now. And you know what I'm saying, you turning up and everything. But don't forget what this is about. Don't lose what we all started with, where we all came from. Because when you do that, it's popping now. You gotta understand, it might not be popping later. So you gotta think about your moves that you're doing now. Another way of looking at this whole thing of, you know, not disrespecting what has come before then is tradition. Especially for us as in our, in our Catholic faith. 2 Thessalonians 2.15 talks about these traditions that have been passed on from word and mouth and so forth. What are they talking about? What is Paul talking about? He's talking about the faith that was given to us by the apostles. The one thing that, well, there's many things, but the big thing that separates our faith from any other Christian faith is, and I, man, I have mad Protestant brothers and sisters who are always reaching out to me. They're like, yo, why are you Catholic, bro? You like the only one over there. I'm like, bro, real talk, look it up, it's history. Matthew 16 verses 18 through 20, you are Peter and upon this rock, I will build my church. We really believe that's our first Pope. Linus, Cletus, uh, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Clement, and so forth, all these different popes. And what we believe is Jesus gave Peter, our first pope, this kind of, I would say like magic, but it's more specifically like a charism. The Holy Spirit moved and, and, and moved on Peter. And Peter hands this down literally to the priests and so forth that you have in your parish. We can trace our lineage all the way back to there. That's the tradition that Paul is talking about. The second, part that, the second part that J. Cole is sitting there and he's chopping it up to whoever that he's talking about, he says, your consequences are having action. Your actions are having consequences. Don't forget that. We do that sometimes. We just act, we just move, not thinking about what's going on, not perceiving all the different things, the people around us who are watching us and real talk, that's gonna affect them some way, shape or form. And not only that, it might not affect them even right now, because right now they may be turning up, right now they may be laughing and so forth, but what happens five, 10 years from now? And the way that he says it, if five years from now, you might be on Love and Hip Hop. No shade on Love and Hip Hop, you see what I'm saying? What he's saying is you might not be in the same predicament that you are now having a good time that you are five, six, seven years from now. And bruh, I will tell you this, because I've been in youth ministry mad years, that happens. People love having a good time because the immediate is good, but nobody thinks about their future, more specifically the goal of all this. You see, the goal of all this is heaven. I'm sad, this, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, and I'm, this might be the first time that you actually heard it this way, but real talk, everybody on here, we all gonna die. And what the church teaches is that we're all gonna have that first judgment. We need to think about heaven. We need to think about these things that we're doing. It's going to have an effect on our souls and the people around us, not only right now, but later on. So we need to start thinking about the future. Don't start, don't get lost in the present. Think about what's going to happen after all of this and how it is that you, you right now are acting and how that's going to look throughout eternity. So J. Cole is putting it down in 1985, which is my favorite track on the whole album. And he's talking to a younger generation and he's telling them, bruh, do not forget where we come from in the tradition, in this case that I'm telling you, in our tradition. But also, don't forget that your consequences have action. You see, all of us are made by love and for love. And love is meant to be shared. But don't let it be greedy love. Don't let it be all that superficial, blah, 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 I'm getting caught up and so forth. And forget about the tradition and forget about eternity. This is Do You, another episode. Thank you guys, peace.